Hi here, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and this is the second video that I promised you with regard to some questions I had on Silhouette Studio. This one, the question was asking me how you would go about aligning text uh, text only on your Silhouette Studio. So first of all, we obviously need some text. So I'm assuming that when you're doing the text that you're doing separate elements for whatever reason because otherwise you could do it and one more option is just to type so if we type lolly and then you've got it on center so we're saying we wanted it centrally aligned then you can just type the next one after um you've hit uh, your return button and then it automatically centralize, centralizes centers them for you because you've used the center uh, text key here or yeah key button whatever so that would do it that way so that was one way of doing that and then if you wanted to you could take that element and put it within your other elements say a box or a square or whatever it is that you've got and it would center into that and i'm going to show you how to do that in a minute but i'm just going to show the other way of doing your text so if we were doing several independent words for whatever reason and i'm going to do another one because I just want to make sure that you can really see that it's different lengths of words so we've got here let's put them all over the shot as well so we've got Lolly, Lulu Crafts and Amanda so that's all good so that's um, four text words different lengths and we want to centralize them the first thing that you want to do is pick up each individual one now if you just click on them with your mouse you're going to lose um, as you click on the next one the first one's going to go away so you want to hold your shift key and then click on each one and it will pick up all of them or you can just put a drag and drop a box around them and it will pick them all up she says like so and then you've got them all in one box so then we want to go over here to the right hand side to our transform or what used to be the alignment box it still says align here so so you've got your different alignments and you've also got that you can do it all in one go if you wanted to align both vertically and horizontally then you could do both in one go now obviously with the words you probably aren't going to want to do that because they'll be on top of each other and you won't be able to read them so you're going to want to go for your horizontal alignment and if we're going for central then you just click on that central button there and it automatically central centrals centralizes them for you you do also have spacing here um, which evens things up both uh, on your horizontal your horizontal your vertical there we did because obviously you wanted it evenly spaced anyway there's lots of different buttons play around with them and then obviously if we clicked on vertical uh, it would just completely put them on top of each other but Okay, so it, now we've got two different elements that are uh, have been centralized. Now these are still individual words, so whereas this one is one box. So you need to be careful with this that you you grab it as a one item. So let's create a shape. So we want this to be in the center of our circle sort of a circle it's a bit of a dodgy circle frankly so again I'm just using my shift button and making sure I'm picking everything up so then we've got all of these elements selected so that tells it these are the things we want to work on not this one up here we could include that if we wanted to so let's include it and then we want to centralize these into my circle now if to do that you would really ideally want to use this button here because it would put it not only in the center of the circle in that uh, on that horizontal axis but it would also do it on the vertical axis so you would absolutely have it perfectly centered however the problem we've got is with these ones they're individual words so they're going to do what we did before and they're going to go on top of each other so really what we need to do is try and make this one item so all we need to do is go up here to the group and we're going to group them together as one image now so they're one image so then we can put our box now around 
those so then when we want to centralize these images into this strangely shaped circle it will do it on the center point both vertically and horizontally whereas if we used one of these two it would only do it in one direction which is not ideal so we want now to press on this button here and it has centralized them all now obviously we wouldn't want all of those words in there but it was just to show that it's very simple to just then centralize our image into something else and the principle is the same whether you're doing words letters or images or shapes whatever it is the process is exactly the same so I hope again that this has answered your question I thank you for asking questions and please anybody else do ask any questions not just on this on the cricket on silhouette on just crafting in general I'm more than happy to try and answer them all right thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now bye